Hello, this is 7.5 operations with matrices. We are going to add, subtract, multiply matrices. So here we go. When you add or subtract matrices, and by the way, the ACT does like add, subtract, and multiply matrices. So when we add or subtract matrices, the first thing we have to realize is they have to be the same order. So in English, that means the same size. If the matrices are the same size, you can add or subtract them. So looking at a scalar, a scalar is where we have a number outside of a matrix, and basically we're taking that matrix and multiplying it by that scalar. So looking at example one, we have the first matrix, which is a two by two, subtract the second matrix, which is also a two by two, and we're gonna multiply it by that scalar of a negative two. So I kind of like to think of this as plus if we're adding the matrices and then multiplying by a negative. So looking at the second matrix, I have a negative two times four, which is negative eight, and a negative two times negative eight, which is a positive 16. A negative two times zero is zero, and a negative two times two is negative four. There's my second matrix. Now let's quickly recopy the first matrix, two, zero, seven, negative one. And we're going to now just add those two matrices together. Notice they're the same size. So we've got two plus negative eight, which equals negative six. Zero plus 16 is 16, seven plus zero is seven, and negative one plus negative four is negative five. And there's our solution to example one. The ACT loves to get you on multiplying matrices. There's more to it than just multiplying the entries. So for example, I'm just gonna quickly show you, if you had a matrix one, two, three, four, and you were going to multiply it, to a matrix, let's call this five, zero, negative one, three. And you were taking the ACT and you decided you go one times five is five. This is the nation's most common answer. Two times zero is zero. Three times negative one is negative three. And four times three is 12. You would absolutely miss that on the ACT. This is the wrong way to multiply matrices. So let's get started with how you multiply a matrix. In order to multiply a matrix, the first thing you have to do is determine if you can even multiply it in the first place. So you're going to write the size of the matrix. So this is a one, two, three rows by two columns. So this is a three by two. This matrix, matrix B, is a two by two. So here's the trick. How you know if you can multiply matrices is the columns in the first matrix have to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So basically, I always just check that these inside two numbers are the same. If they are the same, then you can multiply the matrix. Now, when you multiply the matrix, the answer matrix is going to be these outside two numbers. So the answer is gonna be a three rows. Remember, the first number is always the rows, three rows by two columns. And what I like to do is I just like to set up a blank matrix where I can fill in the entries. So that matrix represents a three by two, and yes, I can multiply matrix A times B. Now, if we multiply A times B, what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply row times column. So basically, if I take this row, I'm gonna multiply it to that column. So it's a little bit tricky and I kind of need to erase so I can see, but we're going to multiply two times four. 
So it's like the first number here multiplies with the first number here. So the first number in the row multiplies with the first number in the column. So two times four is eight. And then three times negative three is negative nine. So it's row times column. Now we're gonna multiply this row by this column. So exciting. So two times one is two and three times six is 18. All right, now we're gonna jump down to the second row. So I can erase these, and now I can look at the second row. And the second row is here, and I'm gonna do row times column. And it's, notice I'm in the second row, first column. Here, my answer goes in the second row, first column. All right, first number times first number is negative four, and second number times second number is negative 15. And now we're going to do row, second row, times second column, and the answer goes here in the second row, second column. First number times first number, negative one, and second number times second number is 30. And now we're going to go again, and this time we're going to pick the third row. So let's pick third row, and we're going to multiply it by the first column. So zero times four is four, and negative two times negative three is, ooh, zero times four is not four. Bad. All right, let's try that again. Zero times four is zero. Yes, it is. It has not changed. And negative two times negative three is positive six. Now we're going to go row times column. All right, first number times first number. Zero times one is zero. And negative two times six is negative 12. And let me just. I'm going to put subtraction there and subtract 12. So we have basically multiplied matrix A times matrix B. And now what we're going to do is just simply combine those numbers. 8 plus negative 9 is negative 1. 2 plus 18 is 20. I have a negative 19, a 29, a 6 and a negative 12. So there's my matrix. Um, when I multiply matrix A times B, that's what I get. So example three wants us to take the same matrix and multiply this time B times A. Well, let me, I have my notes, so let me write down matrix B happened to be four, one, negative three, six. And matrix A happens to be two, three, negative one, five, and zero, negative two. So let's start our problem by doing the dimensions. The dimension of the first matrix is a two by two. And the dimension of the second matrix is a one, two, three rows, two columns, so three by two. If you notice, the number of columns does not match the number of rows. So we have a problem, which means B times A does not exist. So on the ACT, it would be no solution. You can't multiply those two matrices. Um, I'm going to show you how to multiply on the calculator at the end of this video. So example five, you should really try on your own because the best way to learn this is to give it a go. But if you need help, stay with me and I'll at least help you get started. So this first matrix has one, two, three, four, across the rows in a movie theater, four rows. And one, two, three columns of a building. 
four by three. This matrix, if you move across, do you notice that there are three rows and there's only one column? So the question is, can we even multiply this matrix to begin with? Well, if the number of columns match the number of rows in the second matrix, then yes, we can. So we can absolutely multiply these. And my answer is going to be these outside two numbers. So my answer is going to be a four by one. So what I like to do is I like to set up a blank matrix. It just helps me know where to put numbers. So a four means four rows. So here's one, two, three, four rows by one column. And if you really get mixed up with rows and columns, just use little arrows to the side. There's one row, two row, three row, four rows by one column. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to multiply row times column. So if I take this very first one, and maybe I need to erase that so we can see it. All right, here we go. And we are gonna multiply row by column. I like the green, it's kind of cool. Row by column. And you do first number times first number, second number times second number, third number times third number. And the answer is gonna go in the first row, first column. So one times six is six, negative two times negative eight is 16, and seven times two is 14. So there's my first entry. Now we're gonna take the second row and multiply it to this column again. One times six is six, three times negative eight is negative 24, and negative three times two is negative six. All right, now we're gonna do row times column. Four times six is 24, five times negative eight is negative 40, and two times two is four. Row times column. Zero times six is zero. Eight times negative eight is negative 64. And negative four times two is negative eight. So when you simplify that, you have your answer. So just give it a double check. And this is what you should have come up with. So now we're going to look at a story problem with matrices. So in this story problem, we are gonna use matrices to solve it. So a school is selling tickets to a school play. They sell them for $5 for the balcony and $7 for the floor. Now, the school sells 60 balcony seats and 25 floor seats to parents and relatives. They also sell 40 balcony seats and 50 floor seats to students. Um, what we're gonna do now is you'll see when we multiply row times column, see how this matches up perfectly. So it's 60 balcony seats times five, which was the cost for students, plus 25 times seven. So that's gonna give us 300 plus 175. And then we do row times column, 40 times five is 200, plus, and then 50 times seven is 350. So my end result, when we add those together, is gonna be $475 profit for um, the first entry and 550 for the second. And that's your solution. All right, so make sure that you try the you try and that you do the reflection. When you do the you try, notice it's C times A. So this second matrix comes first and A comes second, and then do your reflection. Now I'm just gonna show you how to use the graphing calculator, the TI-84s. So now I'm gonna show you how to graph on the graphing calculator. Um, if your calculator does not have the new operating system, then you will use this blue matrix. So you go second and then matrix, 
and it's going to pull up a matrix and you're going to go ahead and edit your matrices, put in A and put in B, and then you can multiply those together. Now, if your calculator has the new operating system, then you'll do green alpha F3, and this is gonna pull up rows by columns. So I'm gonna multiply a two by two. So I'm gonna put in a two by two, and I'm actually doing the U try problem, um, and I'll hit enter or OK. So then you'll hit OK, and you'll see that you have a 2 by 2. Um, the negative is at the bottom by the decimal, and you'll put in negative 5, and then I like to just right arrow. So negative 5, right arrow, and then 6, right arrow, and then 4, right arrow, and then negative 1, right arrow. And then you're going to hit multiply, and then we're going to do green alpha, and we're going to hit the F3, which is the zoom key again. And this time I'm going to do a three rows by two columns. So three rows by two columns and hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in four right arrow, negative three right arrow, negative two right arrow, one right arrow, zero right arrow and eight right arrow. And then I hit enter and it's saying that my, um, my calculator doesn't let me multiply it because the dimensions are mismatched. So if I go back to my home screen, you notice that I did A times C, which doesn't work. But if I multiply C times A, I can get an answer. So if we come up to, actually, let's just retype in. So we're going to do green alpha F3. And this time I'm going to start with the 3 by 2. So I have 4 right arrow, negative 3 right arrow, negative 2 right arrow, 1, 0, and 8. And I'm going to multiply that by a 2 by 2. And the point is to show you that multiplying matrices is not commutative, which means that the order does matter or we get different answers. So now I have a negative 5 and a 6 and a 4 and a negative 1. And so when I hit Enter, then I get my answer. So there's the answer to the U try, and it's row by column. And so that's how you do it on the calculator um, with no problems. So thanks, everyone. Have a great day.